oxtail with some rice and beans. Here we go. Oh my god. We got a little bit of a Caribbean food series going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Over the last couple of episodes or so, we've been covering some great Caribbean restaurants here in the LA area. And today, I'm going to share with you yet another great Jamaican restaurant that I think you should know about. What I love about this family owned restaurant is that they've been serving some authentic Jamaican food to the local community since 2004. Additionally, they've catered to some of the largest and most respected businesses in the LA area. With a wide selection of great food on their menu, I just can't wait to try them all. As always, before you go inside, please take a moment to give me a like, give me a subscribe to help support the channel. You guys ready for more Jamaican food? Let's get it! I'm here at Aki Bamboo, and what I want to show you is some pretty amazing Jamaican food. Guys, I got a whole bunch of items off of their menu, and each one is like a ginormous platter of delicious eats. We're gonna go through all of them, but the first thing that I want to start off is actually with oxtails, which happens to be one of my favorite food items. With regards to this oxtail, basically they gave me a mountain of super super soft oxtail meat right on the side they gave me uh some rice and beans which is a staple of jamaican food and we got some plantains right here some nice fried yellow plantains and then obviously on the side they got some soft cabbage which seems to be like it's it seems like it's, it was boiled for a long long time it looks very very soft and then lastly they got some i think this is called festival bread okay which is another very popular Jamaican uh, food items. Oxtail with some rice and beans. Here we go. Oh my god. It, it's like melt in your mouth soft. Nice like a little bit of soft tendon, a little bit of soft fat. Literally things are like fall off the bone. No effort. That's got to be some of the best oxtails that I've ever had. Now, I do want to share with you um, the side right here, which I think is just like, it's like a seasoned boiled cabbage. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It tastes almost like a little bit of a slight hint of curry flavor, but so, so good. You got cabbage, you got some Carrots. There's some like small specks of spices. I can't tell what they are, but it definitely, definitely adds to the flavor. I do want to share with you this festival bread. Okay. Now I've had festival bread before, and I guess every place does their festival bread slightly different. But to me, this looks like a uh, looks like a, a donut, right? Mmm. Mm -hmm. To me, their festival bread tastes very similar to like a, a donut. A little bit of sweetness to it, not like overly crazy sweet, okay? I don't think there's like a, a ton of sugar on it, but something like a natural sweetness. That's one of the most heavily bites. One of the best Jamaican oxtail food platter that I've ever had. It's really that good. The second dish that I want to try is actually something I've never had before. But apparently it's called um, Aki Saltfish. Similarly to the previous oxtail platter, you got plantains, you got festival bread, you got rice and beans, you got this cabbage on the side. But really, the star of this plate is this egg with saltfish. To me, on the surface, it just looks like scrambled eggs with onions and a whole bunch of different spices. But if you dig a little bit further, you will see that there are big chunks of saltfish on here. Mm. Oh yeah. Saltfish tastes exactly the way it's described. It's salty. It's a little flaky with the fish. Good flavors, good flavors in here. Definitely get a lot of that, that heavy, heavy uh, saltiness. I don't even think you need any more salt. 
on top of this. But a lot of great seasoning. I love how there is scrambled eggs on here. Mm. If it was me, I would have enjoyed this in like a um, like a burrito or like a breakfast burrito, breakfast wrap format. I think it would be fantastic. Now, I do want to try the plantains. Here we go. Oh yeah. Coming from something very, very savory and going to something very, very sweet on that plantain, I just did a, a whole like 180. And my mouth is loving it. I want to share with you guys a, um, a drink that I saw on their menu. And apparently this is original Jamaican flavor. Take a look at this. Cola champagne. This probably is going to taste something like a vanilla soda or something like that. But who knows? We're going to find out. Oh. It's pretty sweet. It tastes like a... Yeah, it does taste like a little bit like a vanilla soda. I don't usually drink soda, but if you guys love, love soda, I think you guys will enjoy this right here. How about some seafood, guys? Look at this huge platter of shrimp curry. Big chunks of carrots. There's some maybe bay leaves. I'm not exactly sure, but big chunks of curry ch shrimp right here. All right, similarly to with all the other plates, you got beans, rice and beans, you got plantains, you got festival bread, and you got this cabbage. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. That shrimp curry is so good. The curry here that's used in Jamaican cuisine, I think there's a lot of influence from Indian curry because there are aspects of this curry that reminds me of Indian curry. So I would not be surprised if some of the curry here derived from India itself. They got some bell pepper in here as well. Can you see that? Yeah. Just a lot of great seasoning, okay? Great, great seasoning, lots and lots of food. Another dish that I've never had in Jamaican food before is brown stewed chicken. Look at this. It's like, it's so soft that when I'm trying to pick this up, like the meat just breaks off. That's how soft it is. And like the, the name describes, it's in this brown stew. Take a look at all this brown stew right here. Man, that looks good, okay? I don't know exactly what types of seasoning is in here, but I do see some black pepper. Similarly with all the other plates, you got some rice, you got some veggies, you got some of that festival bread. Mmm. Not knowing exactly what's in the spices, I can just tell you it's like a, like a spiced, infused, gray stew. Maybe a little bit of like a burnt charcoal flavor, but like in the best way possible. The meat is just like fall off the bone. Look at this, no effort. Fantastic, I can't believe I've waited this long just to try some brown stew chicken. Again, this is something that I've never tried before, but basically they call this kai, kaiyo, or uh, amaranth green. Never had this before. But on the surface, this basically looks like collard greens to me. That's what it looks like to me. Take a look at that. This right here is gonna make sure I get my veggies in for the day. Similar to all the other dishes, you know what's on, on this platter right here. Other veggies, plantains, festival bread, Rice and beans, here we go. Oh yeah. This tastes just like collard greens. I can't really see the difference to be honest. Between kayo and collard greens, they taste very similar. Very, very soft. Um, I'm sure there's some little bit of heat. I think there's some uh, sliced peppers in here. Super, super soft that you can just like you don't really need teeth to eat something like this because I'm sure they've stewed this for a long, long time. Take a look at that. 
That's the way to do it. Get a little bit of that veggie, get a little bit of that protein, put it on your spoon or your fork, one mouth it, heavenly, heavenly. Well, today's Jamaican food experience has been nothing short of phenomenal. I actually thought I tried most of the uh, must tries when it comes to Jamaican cuisine, but today I was surprised by three things I've never tried before. I've never had that cayo green, I never had the brown stew chicken, and I definitely didn't have that saltfish. So I'm always happy to include something new to my own personal experience, and I'm glad that I tried this. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to find Aki Bamboo here in Los Angeles, but definitely look them up. They're a, a small restaurant, family-owned restaurant here in what I consider like Little Africa. Hey, a lot of great uh, ethnic cuisines down here, and they are preparing some pretty authentic Jamaican flavors. I can certainly tell in every single bite that I tried today. So if you have been here, definitely let me know what are some of your favorite items off of their menu. And if you haven't tried it, well, you know what to do. Definitely come over here to give them a try. Uh, as always, if you enjoy watching this video and want to be part of that like swipe, be sure to smash that like button, give me a subscribe, and ring that liberty bell so you always get notified when I put up epic food videos like this. That's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I will see you at the next meal.